This afternoon we are hearing from a local veteran trying to improve perception of who veterans are beyond their uniforms. She wants to make sure that women who've served are properly recognized for their contributions. Seven Action News reporter Darren Cunningham joining us live with her story. Good afternoon, Darren. Yes, good afternoon. Patricia Timberlake Turk, uh, we spoke with her. She reached out to 7 Action News this morning, concerned about news coverage, adequate coverage. As you mentioned, they're making sure that women who've enlisted in the military are received the proper recognition and respect, not just on Veterans Day, but every day in day-to-day -day interactions. I was told at the VA one time to shut up that I wasn't a veteran. Patricia Timberlake Turk says it was a sexist remark from a fellow veteran that couldn't have been further from the truth. She's a Vietnam era veteran herself who rose to the rank of sergeant. After enlisting in the Air Force in 1974, Timberlake Turk worked in avionic communications and says one of her assignments took her to Athens, Greece, three days after the embassy in Tehran was taken in 1979. And our airplanes flew over to Tehran collecting the intelligence and a good reference of it is when in the movie Argo when Ben Affleck said that they're getting their intelligence that was coming from our airplanes. An exciting mission eventually referenced on the big screen, Hollywood. However, she says her very presence in the military did not garner the same appreciation at the time. So I went in at the very end of Vietnam and there was a lot of upheaval still, especially with women going into service and not having to go because of the draft for the men. And I went into a career field that was a very male career field. According to Pew Research, data from 1973 reveals women made up 2% of the military's enlisted ranks. Data from 2010 shows women made up 14% of the military. Other sources indicate that percentage may have increased another 2-4% to since then. For one reason or another, Timberlake Turk says society generally fails to properly recognize women's contributions to the military. Case in point, assumptions people make about the Air Force logo on her license plate. I have veterans plates on my car. And I get out of the car and he says, well, thank your husband for his service. Or, and I'm thinking, it's my car. Yeah, and I guess, and I am touchy about that with me being a veteran and everything. And also when I go to the VA hospital for service, which I do, they say, oh, are you here with your husband or a family member getting service? And I said, no, I'm doing it myself. And it's, and they're a little bit taken aback. All she's requesting is the proper respect and for people to stop making false assumptions. Women are veterans. Now, Timberlake Turk says that uh, she has several people in her family who have served, uh, including three other women who are currently active duty. And so she encourages other women to sign up. She says that there are great benefits from the GI Bill to health care. Reporting live, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Thank you, Darren. So important to recognize all those who put their lives on the line for us. Brian.